how to change your UE roll battery. You have a bunch of these tabs around the entire perimeter. They're spaced out. You can see one red one right there. There'll be another one right here. And it goes around the entire perimeter of the circle. Use butter knife from coming in from the side. Up in there you can see the red. I'll go over to where the next one is. Stick your knife in. Click out. It's easiest to click towards the blue and not the red when you're doing this. Click towards the red, it'll make it real hard. You can see the next tabs inside there. Feels like you're breaking it, but you won't. Boom. Just our ring seal, make sure you keep that on there. Battery sets right here. Don't try to rip those out. This is a fix inside there, but it will allow you to cant it up slightly and then pull it out. First, undo your battery to make sure that you're not gonna short out anything. Standard screwdriver, don't point down inside here. You'll short out everything. It's your bad battery, but nonetheless. Now you have the battery disconnected, use the same screwdriver. You're just going to slightly get underneath there and pry up, just so ever so slightly. You see now that the battery is loose, we're doing down inside here. You can see that there's this bar, this bar, the same thing on the opposite side. You're just getting the battery up above that so you can slide it out. So I'll pry this up. Hold it there, and then slide your battery out. Old battery's out, has some foam on it. I usually replace this here and put it on the new battery. Pull it off. There's a bar on the side of the battery that you can see there. Just put the foam opposite of that side of the battery. It's on the bottom, slide it in. <clears throat> when you're sliding the battery back inside this hole, there's a couple of different pieces that it will catch on when you're trying to go in there. So from the opposite side, when you're sliding it through, you may finger it and hit it with your screwdriver just to get it to pry up where it needs to go. So foam towards it, start our battery piece in. So as I'm pushing here, it's stopping. So I look inside here and it's just grabbing this bottom corner. So I'm gonna lift up on it and get the battery to slide the rest of the way.
it is tedious, so don't force it. You'll just break it. If you see over here, I have the same thing. This block is where the battery is going to come up against. So you can see I have another quarter inch to go. Boom, it's in there. Push your battery back down in nice and tight. When you're reinstalling the battery, you can see that there's a terminal in here. Just as you saw in the first time, there's a little upside down horseshoe right on this side here. You wanna plug that back in. Careful not to jack your wires too bad when you're putting this back in. Or to bend any of these little metal tits that are inside there. Once it's lined up, slide back in. Make sure you push your wires back down inside here so it's hidden. Now you have changed successfully on your battery. <clears throat> and put your O-ring back in. Lined up. Now I've done that. Take my speaker. This is the power button actually right here. That's your Bluetooth button. They're gonna line up with that side. So we just set your speaker back over it. Oops, ah, put that up, up upside down, sorry. These are your buttons that press these buttons. So it only goes one direction. Sit it in there, you'll see that we're very close all around. All you do at this point here is snap it together. You'll hear the clicks go around in the corners. There, our speakers all back together. Power's on. You're all set to go. Seventy percent charge. So this battery came from the factory with a seventy percent charge.